Welcome back. We're on episode eight of season two of the micro vlogcast for Foresight Management. Um, man, time goes fast. Um, so we were talking about scope one, two, and three greenhouse gas emissions. Um, and like to break that down a little bit further and understand what goes into calculating scope, scope one greenhouse gas emissions. Is that my job? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so I think, uh, I mean, on the most basic level, uh, it's understanding what your boundary includes, right? So what are you burning? Um, what type of energy are you using? I think most people know electricity. Most people probably are using natural gas to heat or something like that. Um, and then digging into, you know, are you, do you have propane forklifts? Do you have gasoline, diesel uh, generators on site? And understanding the fuel use. So we talk a lot about energy and the cost associated with energy, yep. but like that cost is not, unfortunately, always directly related to the actual units of consumption, right? So like demand charges for electricity would be an example, there's right? All these other things that happen. And so, uh, peeling that out and looking at just kilowatt hours or MMBTUs or therms or whatever that. So the actual consumption. Yeah. You physically consume. And so then energy. Okay. And then, uh, and then each type of fuel produces a certain number of uh, greenhouse gases and there's a list to that and uh, there's a conversion to that. And a lot of what we do is making sure that we have the accurate kind of conversion values and being able to calculate those, those emissions, those mm -hmm. greenhouse gas emissions uh, associated with the burning of that fuel. So that you started out that whole concept about talking about a boundary. Can you describe what, what you mean by a boundary? Is that just like a certain area within the manufacturing setting or is that like a regional boundary? Like what does boundary really mean? Yeah, and that's oftentimes the hardest part of the discussion, right? Like, what do we have control over? And you'd think it'd be really easy, but these large, you know, if you're a large company and you have lots of manufacturing facilities, uh, with kind of multiple entities and supply chains involved, defining that boundary is a little bit nebulous. But on a basic level, if you have control over uh, a facility or a fuel use and how it gets uh, burned and turned on the lights or whatever it is that uses the fuel, you, it's in your boundary. There is a uh, c equity control and there's an operational control aspect to it and that kind of gets into the weeds, but control is the the key word Control there. equals boundaries. Yeah. Okay, cool. Here's awesome. That. Well, I think that wraps up episode eight. So we'll catch you on the other side. <laughs> Thanks, everyone. Control, Control equals boundaries. Feels Wait. like a therapy Natural. session. <laughs> Control <laughs> equals boundaries. Yeah. Yeah. It is. It is sounds, does sound Control like and boundaries sounds like something I talk to my therapist about.